Hi, I'm Paul from Atomus here at IBC 2023. I'm here to tell you all about the new Ninja Ultra and the Shogun Ultra. So just as an overview, we've got four new products that we've just launched. We've got the Ninja, the Ninja Ultra, the Shogun and the Shogun Ultra. The Shoguns we've just literally launched here at IBC. Basically these four new products are underpinned by a brand new operating system called OS 11, which is a whole bunch of new features now we've activated within offline and online cloud related features. So just to recap, the Ninja product is a five inch HDR 1000 nit product and it's an offline product, but then you can connect the Atomus Connect module on the back to turn it into a fully integrated cloud connected product. Whereas the Shogun and the Shogun Ultra, that has all the network connect connectivity built in and it also has a 2000 nit seven inch panel. So basically the product and the features are actually very nicely aligned now between the Ninja and the Shogun. Of course, the difference between the screen size and the, next, and the connectivity, whether it's built in or modular. So if we look at the enhancements for the Ultra products, the Ninja Ultra and the Shogun Ultra, we've made some real advances in the camera to cloud type of workflow. So let me give you an example. We've now got the opportunity for camera to cloud when we record two files with dual codec record, we can now record on the Ultra products, we can record ProRes RAW and H.265 proxy. And not only ProRes RAW, but we can now record up to 4K60 ProRes RAW and HD60 H.265. So that's a real advantage now, we've gone up to a higher frame rate from 30 frames to 60, and now we can record RAW and proxy. And that's a workflow that's been asked for a lot, having that ideal workflow. The other advantages for the Ultra products with OS 11 is we have what we call SDI Cine, where basically we've now been working with the major uh, manufacturers of SDI Cine cameras, Canon, Arri, Sony, RED, and all the popular cameras now, we now take over SDI the file name into our product so you can now record internally on the camera as an OCF, original camera file, and record the proxy on the Ultra, Ninja Ultra, or the Shogun Ultra. That gives you much more flexibility to record in the codec of your choice in the camera and use the Atomos device for your proxy to go to the cloud. The other advantage we have is now we've now brought out a single codec mode for camera to cloud, which allows you to have up to a 4K H.265 file to go from our devices up into the cloud and really high bit rates as well. You can select up to 30 megabits per second. So a 30 megabits per second 4K file means that you have much more flexibility for a camera to cloud workflow that may not be a relinking workflow. Maybe you just want to send a really high quality file to the cloud for instant use, instant edit, and sharing or publishing on social media. So we now have all these different options between 4K uploads, Cine SDI modes, and to underpin all of that, the Ultra products also now have Wi-Fi 6E. So of course, we're talking about cloud connectivity and internet access is, is key. Wi-Fi 6E is a really fast emerging high-end Wi-Fi standard that has a third band of Wi-Fi. It has a six gigahertz band. So you have 2.4 gig, five gig, and six gig band, which allows for much lower latency, much faster data throughput, and it's must, much less congested than existing Wi-Fi bands, which means that these products, the Ultra products, have the best possible chance of having a super fast Wi-Fi connection for our cloud workflows. Atom OS 11 is a brand new operating system on the new products, and it has a lot of offline features. So let me give you an example of, of what some of them are. We've now, actually I'm showing here, we've got um, EL Zone system. Uh, colorized exposure. We've now added that to our vast tool set that we offer our content creators. We've now added ARRI false color in addition to Atomos false color. We've added extra features for what we call record assist and playback assist. And they link very nicely into our time lapse feature as well. So with record assist and playback assist, we can now set a countdown timer or we can set an actual time of day timer 
to trigger the unit into record or playback at certain events. And that's super useful when you've got an event which you know is happening at a certain time, and maybe the Maybe the operator can't be around, maybe it's pyrotechnics or something dangerous, but you know it's going to happen at a certain time. You can then trigger the device to start recording at that time, which actually could be a normal shot or it could be even be time lapse. So we've added this into OS 11 along with the colorized exposure features. We have a brand new feature called Remote View for OS 11, and it's a, it's a really clever way of getting video Across, across the internet uh, where we can share video from up to four video sources, which could be from any of our Atomos Connect devices, uh, OS 10 or OS 11 devices, or even the Atomos Pro Camera iOS app. And then we can send them to up to four different monitor slot destinations. Now the destinations can be any OS 11 device, so it could be a Ninja, or it could be a Shogun, or it could be an Apple device, it could be Apple TV, it could be uh, Mac OS and it could be iPad OS. So we can now send up to four devices in any combination. So we can have a quad split, we can have a side by side split or a picture in picture and lay the images out in whatever way we want to send particularly to maybe a client monitor or a director's monitor feed. And they could be in the same room, they could be in the next sound stage or video village, or they could be somewhere across the world. Not only can we send any combination of inputs to outputs, we can also uh, put overlays on all of the inputs so we can maybe name the cameras, camera A, camera B, camera C, maybe with the camera operator's name. So it's very clear in Video Village or for the director exactly where the camera feeds are coming from. And then also on each monitor slot, we can actually overlay a watermark. Now that could be a branding watermark if you're sending it somewhere or you wanna make sure that for confidentiality, you could put a confidentiality uh, a watermark over the top to make sure that nobody can, can record or use that content at the other end. And of course, using an Atomos device, uh, a Ninja or a Shogun at the other end as the receive device, it means you can then loop out on the HDMI or the SDI on the Shogun into a, an SDI ecosystem or an HDMI monitor and so you can get HD video, low, super low latency, high quality HD video across the public internet with all of these features. So remote view, remote view is a really exciting feature that we're, we're launching. So we've now got all of these new codec options for recording on the Ultras, but we've also, on all of our new Ninja and Shogun lineup, we have all of the codecs now included for free, included. So if you think about that, it's, we've got a huge selection of codecs that people can choose. We have ProRes RAW, we have ProRes, we have Avid DNX, and we now have H.265, all included for free. So our brand new operating system, OS 11, will be available also to our Shogun Connect users as a free upgrade because it's a much newer platform. Unfortunately, our, uh, the Ninja 5 and the Ninja 5 Plus platform will not be upgradable to OS 11, but what we will be doing is keeping that product, those products up to date with uh, lots of bug fixes, and also all of our ProRes RAW cameras will be adding any new ProRes, camera, ProRes RAW cameras to the Ninja 5 and the Ninja 5 Plus 2. So in terms of pricing and availability for our new products, the new Ninjas they're already shipping. The Ninja is 599 euros and dollars and 799 for the Ninja Ultra. The Shoguns, they'll be shipping in two to three weeks time and they're priced at 999 for the Shogun and 1199 for the Shogun Ultra.